Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Marcus Epps. Seems as if the bones are just falling out the closet. So many bones, he can't keep the closet door shut. Because tabloid after tabloid is just discovering bones. And one tabloid is the sun. It has discovered that Marcus has more charges. Now, we all know he's an upstanding man, okay? He's a councilman, all right? Uh, for, I think, Ohio or whatever the hometown is, it doesn't matter. You know, he had numerous scandals, but that didn't stop him from being elected as a city councilman. But he was charged with misdemeanor domestic violence in Ohio. And that was back in 2008. So that was 14 years ago. So according to the court records, the rest stem from something that happened on October the 7th through 2007. So that's even 15 years back. Um, but the arrest warrant for Marcus was not issued on that day. He wasn't served until the following year on March 5th, 2008. So therefore, 14 years. Now, he was facing two charges. First degree, misdemeanor domestic violence. But how is it misdemeanor? I don't know. But he was also charged with domestic violence menacing, which is a fourth degree. So every time you go to one degree higher or you know, two, three, four, it's a lesser charge. So menacing at the fourth degree is a misdemeanor, and that means threatening by force a family member, just threats, basically. That's what a misdemeanor four is. So he was given a bond of $5,000, and his current wife, and I say uh, that with question because I saw a post from a family member from Taryn. But anyway, Taryn, she posted bail for him and he was booked and released. But according to the this post, she's uh, by Taryn's cousin, she says, Marcus has my cousin Taryn uh, brainwashed. She said, it's ridiculous. And she said that he she never knew he was married to Taryn. There's no public record of their fake marriage. Okay, that's from Taryn's cousin. But Taryn seems to be his ride or die. She bailed him out and uh, he was booked and released. So he eventually uh, pled a deal, you know, and no contest on a lesser charge of a disorderly conduct. And that was in April 2008. So the domestic violence charges were dropped because he copped the plea deal. Um, they didn't list the victim's name. Well, the court documents did list it, but they, the son didn't list the, the victim's name. And according to them, it was not Taryn. And it was not his first wife either, who he married in 2003. So, or, you know, they're not knowing for sure if it's not one of his, his mothers of his children either. But apparently everything seems to be all hunky-dory now because the victim, she has an Instagram account and it's followed by the Epps family as well as Marcus' personal Instagram account. And her oldest child looks to be 13 years old. She has two, two children. And let's keep reading. It keeps sticking on here because the, uh, the victim doesn't seem so... The victim got some mess too now. Because... A temporary protection order was granted on the same day that Mark was arrested. But they're not sure who was being protected. Um, court records indicate that a woman with the same exact name as Marcus' victim was arrested in Akron, Ohio for felony assault. So now she got more charges than he did. He pretty much got misdemeanor charges because it was, yes, it was DV, but it was to a third and fourth degree. So not only did she get felony assault, she also had felony child endangerment from an incident stemming on March 4th, 2008. But that was one day before Marcus was arrested. So this is kind of, you know, I don't know how this is all making sense because she pressed charges 
and earlier in the year. Okay. So what I, uh, what I said earlier, they didn't get around to arresting him until March, but she pressed charges on October the 7th. He gets booked, arrested on the 8th of March. She gets <laughs> jailed March the 7th. So she didn't really get to see him arrested and cause she was arrested first for a felony assault and child endangerment. That was just one day before Marcus was arrested. And she was found to be guilty of assault. And she was sentenced to three years in prison. So, um, hmm. So it's, it's an interesting, okay? I looked at Marcus Taran in India's uh, live on Instagram, and they didn't mention anything. They were quite... Uh, uh, you know, it's quite watch, like watching paint dry. So I didn't see too much. I kind of stopped. Maybe they mentioned something in the last 10 minutes of their Instagram. But there you have it, my lovelies. Mr. Marcus Epps has more skeletons in his closet. Now, I don't know what to make of this. It seems like the victim has more significant charges than he does. Because his was just, of course, he copped the plea. To disorderly conduct, but he did have initially DB, but and menacing charges, you know, threatening, and it was, but then, you know, the victim she got real time for some significant issues. So there you have it, my lovelies. Uh, TLC has done it again. They have picked a winner. What do you guys think of this? Drop a line down below in the comment section. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already, my lovelies. And make sure the notification bell is on lockdown because you know YouTube does tricks. All right, my lovelies, I am going to end it right here and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Much love, peace, and happiness.